Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and in this video series we're going to talk about Pickles, a living documentation for Specflow feature file which makes the maintenance of our feature file much better and much easier than ever before. So what is Pickles? Pickles is an open source living documentation generator that works on feature files written on Kirkin language popularized in tools like Cucumbers and Specflow. Well, Pickles can be incorporated into your build process to produce living documentation in format that is more accessible to your clients. And Kirkin language files are written in plain text and stored in your source folder. We all know that Specflow is one of the most popular PDD kind of tool which can be used for maintaining your test cases in a plain text. But that plain text is going to reside in your Visual Studio's project. But if you want to export that feature file to your client, then there is no such mechanism available out of the box in Visual Studio or in Specflow where you can generate that as a HTML file and give it to the client. And that's where Pickles come into picture. Pickles actually generates a very, very handy way of exporting the feature files and scenarios into a HTML file or Word documents and an Excel sheet, something like that. So we're gonna see this picker in much detailed way in this video and as well as in the next video. So what are the output formats that Pickle supports? Pickles can produce output in different formats like static HTML as a HTML files with minimal JavaScript or a dynamic HTML file or DHTML in which a JavaScript rich single page application is integrated with the search features in that. And then it also supports Microsoft Word as I already said. And you can export that to an Excel sheet and also to a custom JSON format. So installing Pickle is very very easy. All you have to do is go to the package manager console and install the package with this command install package pickles. We can do this installation in many different way like chocolatey. Chocolatey NuGet is a machine package manager somewhat like an app get of Linux but built with Windows in mind. So the command for installing the chocolatey is choco install chocolatey. So let's start working with it then and start understanding how the pickles actually works. So for that I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. So this is one of the projects which we created in one of our Udemy course right here. The automation framework development with Selenium C Sharp is an advanced course for developing a framework. So the reason why I'm showing this particular code right here is because we actually need to have a folder with features files in it because all we're going to do with the pickles is to generate a living documentation for the feature files which we have already written something like this so as you can see in my test project I have a login feature and also a employee feature with some of these scenarios in them and this can be accessible only by a tester or a developer or who is sitting or using the Visual Studio. But of course you can give this as a plain text because it is kind of a plain text. You can just copy this and give it to a customer or a client with a notepad format or you can maybe give it like a colored format if you copy this into a document like Word document. But that's why the pickles is actually coming into picture. Because using pickle we can actually generate a very very neatly designed documentations. So let's quickly see how to generate that. So for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the references. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to hit the manage NuGet packages or I can use the package manager console and then I can select the project which I need to install the picker. So EA auto test and then I'm going to type install package and pickles. So this is the latest version while I'm recording this video. Alright, so the pickle got installed in my project and as you can see that I can see the pickles is already available in my project if I just right click and open the folders in the explorer and if I go to the packages you can see I will actually have the pickles folder right here and that's the tool that we are going to make use of it. So how to execute this pickle? The only thing which I'm going to do using pickle is basically I will just start typing a command very very easily and as you can see the command for generating the features into a HTML file is just type something like this pickle of features hyphen you can see that there will be a lot of 
options available something like this just hyphen and tab you can see there is a feature directory output directory language test result formats test result files system under test names and all those different kinds of options which is coming up right here so where can you actually check all these informations just navigate to docs.picklesdoc.com slash en slash latest and you can see the latest documentation for the pickles and you can see that there is a lot of greatest documentations available for the pickles the reason is it is very very simple tool at the same time the documentation is very very neat and you can see there is an argument sections if i click this arguments you can see the different kinds of options which you can use to perform the operation so the feature directory argument is basically for passing the directory name of the feature file and similarly the output directory is the directory where you have to keep the generated html file or the documents like word excel etc so you can keep on learning about these kinds of argument right here and let's start working with it so the first argument that which I'm going to pass in is going to be the feature directory. So where is my features actually sitting in? As you can see within my particular project, I can select the root of my project just by hitting dot and then slash and just hit tab. You can see it will bring me up all the different folders within my project. So my feature file is actually sitting under the EA employee test folder. So I'm going to select that. And I'm going to hit slash and then my feature is actually sitting under the features folder so I'm going to select this features and this is the directory of my feature files and then I'm going to store the features generated HTML output file into a output directory so I'm going to select that so for this video I'm actually going to save the generated file into my D colon and there is something called pickles output so I'm going to store right there, right? And then I need to give some additional parameters like language, which is kind of optional because the default is English. So I can just leave as of now. The test result format and file will be looking in the next video, but we can give some name for the system under test. The system under test name is going to be my employee app test. And you can also specify the version of the system under test. It is actually version 1.0. So I can give that, which is 1.0. And then I can give the documentation format. So the documentation format is going to be, as you can expect, it can be an HTML file, a DHTML file, or a Word or Excel. So as of now, I'm just going to use the HTML. And then I'm going to just hit enter. So as you can see, it has generated a pickles file for us. I'm just going to navigate to this folder. There we go. And as you can see, there is a very, very simple HTML files for us. Now, if I just double click this index.html, there we go. You can see it is bringing us the information, something like this. The test result generated for employee app test, which is version 1.0. And this is the version that we gave in our Visual Studio. And then it also says some of the information like generated on and produced by all those informations. And there is an employee and login. So if I click the employee, you can see that it's neatly bringing up the informations on the feature files, which is sitting in our Visual Studio. And as you can see, this is the feature, this is the background, and this is the scenario with the smoke tag. And here's another scenario. So you can see all this information is neatly designed and generated for us. And if I click the login, there we go. So this is the login information. But this is not kind of very cool even. If we use DHTML, it will be even much cooler. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete these files completely. And then I'm just going to type instead of HTML as DHTML and hit enter. I will once again navigate to this. And right now you can see there is a JavaScript file added. It is kind of even neatly designed than a static HTML file. So if I just open this, you can see this time it has a very, very neatly designed background information, scenarios, and here's the table. And also you can see it can expanded and minimized. And also you can see that this time it has a search feature. So you can search via the tag or you can also search via the feature name. And there is a login 
and this is the information so let's say I'm gonna search for the positive I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna type as positive you can see it's also coming in the intelligence if I do a search it brings me up right here right and also there is a link option which you will see in our next video where you can link your test result into your living documentation so that you can see like how this scenario will look even much meaningful so there is a show or view button so if you click this it will show you a very very simple report as of now there is nothing to show like any failures because it's all okay but once we add a test result file it will be more meaningful than right now cool so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day